Bait does not matter. It's about putting a bait in front of a fish. What do you think? Comment below in the comment section. Hello, this is Jeff at Battlefish again, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, chasing redfish in the St. John's River this uh, video. And hopefully you subscribe to my channel, you know that I catch hundreds of redfish in the St. John's River. Bunch of redfish for change. How about that? And one of the themes is I don't fish around docks. Even before I got live scope, I was catching redfish in the middle of the St. John's River, in large flats too. areas, uh, mostly schooling redfish. And I truly believe that if you catch a 26, 27 upper slot or over slot redfish in the St. John's River, you're pulling it from a large school of redfish. And this video is to show you that live scope actually proves uh, what I've already known. And the other thing I've discovered is these large schools of redfish are constantly moving all over the river. Another thing I've learned is when you're fishing these schools or you discover a school of redfish, bait does not matter. Uh, you can throw anything at them and uh, they will fight over it like a bunch of chickens after a piece of bread. Well, that'll win the contest, for sure. I watch a lot of LiveScope videos, and off. the majority of people using LiveScope right now are crappie and bass fishermen, and it's a huge issue in the bass tournament field about using LiveScope or forward-facing sonar. And if you watch videos on tournament fishing, the issue with forward-facing sonar is, is it fair to use, it's too easy to spot fish. And the other thing that's coming to light is, bait does not matter. It's about putting a bait in front of a fish. Yep, that's right. Bait doesn't matter. Pretty controversial when you go into a, uh, a Bass Pro or a Sportsman's Warehouse and there's just rows and rows and rows of not only different baits, but different colors, different lengths, different shapes. It's absolutely insane the way baits have gotten in the artificial world. Hey, I'm as guilty as most, if not more. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of baits that I have bought that look good, but really nah. have not produced any more fish than anything else I've used. So my live scope, I can turn around 360 degrees, so I found a school of redfish showing up behind me. And frankly, if you are a weekend fisherman where you're fishing only found them. Found them again. two, three, four weekends a month, there is no way you can collect any kind of data on what works and what doesn't work. It's just not statistically possible. In looking at these schools on LiveScope, and uh, if you go, pa go back and look at my other videos of redfish I track on LiveScope, if you go by the rule, which I truly believe that 90% of the water is empty and 10 only 10% of the water holds fish, if you've got hundreds of redfish in one large 
school. That's a lot of fish for a huge area of the St. John's River in one place. Yeah, I truly believe if you follow the bass tournament fishing controversy regarding forward-facing sonar, you're going to see more and more information about bait doesn't matter. So again, thanks for watching and I really like to hear your comments on uh, some of my opinions. Thanks a lot.